Today's video is actually a badge cam and officer involved, but I'm gonna do it from the private citizen's perspective because this guy's a moron. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Humble, Texas. Magtech is the only pistol or rifle ammo I use on the range and I recommend them highly. I've seen their manufacturing and quality control firsthand and it's incredible, which is why it always performs reliably and accurately. They are operating at max capacity and cranking out rounds for you to keep your skills sharp. Pick up some MagTech at your local ammo retailer or get it shipped fast at luckygunner.com. Our guy here we're gonna talk about is at this bar, it's late at night, couple dudes on motorcycles roll in and apparently he's drunk and they have a confrontation outside this bar. So you're gonna see the guy get off his bike, whatever, there's our erstwhile defender and the dude has a chain in his hand. So he's swinging that chain at him a couple of times and him and his buddy, you can see his buddy get off his bike, obviously I've sped this up for the sake of time, are gonna beat him up pretty good. And they had a pretty darn good fist fight with the guy. You can look at the link in the description, you can see he's beat up pretty good at the end of this. So now our guy's gonna tell him, get the heck out of here. They are gonna get out of there, but he's gonna get a gun and take a couple of shots at this guy while he's leaving. Now we have badge cam audio. He called 911 himself because he, he wanted to report it. Let's listen in. Any weapons on anything like that? I, I don't, my, my, my weapon, I laid it down on the ground somewhere, sir. The I, handgun I, or something? No, I laid it down on the ground, sir. Okay, I just patched it I down. I did, I, sir, sir, so you, you, you put me down. I, I fired a couple rounds off, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I, I was getting beat at me by a couple, two different guys, but they okay. had a chain and swinging at me. I was hiding where they for at? like, I don't know where they went, they were on motorcycles. I was hiding for like 15, 20 minutes because I was, yeah. I, I guess I witnessed. I want to see some control. Were they bikers? Yes, the two men that, that, that came out and started swinging at me with chains, they were bikers. Yes, sir. So some two motorcycles, two men, beat them up, <clears throat> took off. Um, I'm not going to lie, sir. I'm used to me. Hmm. I ran in my truck. I, I was hiding. I was hiding because I I, I witnessed something I shouldn't I shouldn't have seen. There was, uh, I don't know if it was a coke deal or what. Oh, and they got pissed off. I was hiding behind this truck for a long time, and they were looking for me. That that's probably my firearm right there. Yeah, that, that, is, that is. That is. That is. This my firearm. Oh, uh, you did. Look, sir. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. I, I've been drinking. I've been drinking, but uh, but uh, hey, man. Did you hit anybody? I have no idea. You don't know. I have no idea. All I know is they 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 were swinging a, they were swinging a chain at me. I was hiding back here, sir. I, I have asked where were you where were you when you shot, Bubba? I was I was in this area. I was in this area and then maybe over here. Did you shoot? I, sh I shot one shot. I shot one. I grabbed my gun. I shot one shot right here. Uh huh. And I shot another shot, maybe somewhere over here. All right, hey, do me a favor. Uh, can you have a seat on that curb for me? Can, can please. I smoke a cigarette, please? Smoke a cigarette, whatever you want to do. Have, you, just have can, a seat can, right can, there. Can I go grab a rag out of my truck, or you grab, go grab it on my truck? I'll help so you can... out here in a second. Let me just make sure everybody's okay and nobody's shot. Yeah, 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 just have yeah, a seat yeah, yes, right sir, here. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, <clears throat> sir. You mind having a seat for me, Bubba? His gun is right there. I've already unloaded it, just so you know. Hey, I, I got a picture of one of the persons. Uh, Are you okay? Uh, huh? He's really drunk. He wanted to leave. Okay. And my friend was trying to get him to leave. He started swinging at him. 120. Was it, those are the guys on the bike? 120. Okay. But they were just they were trying to get him to leave. He started swinging at him. Where, is, where are they at? I don't know. I don't know who they were. Did he point it at you? He came over here, started swinging in the air, and I'm shaking. I was trying to leave, but he's... He started swinging in the air? Like he had the gun right there next to me outside the window, so... Because he said he was, like, hiding back here. Yeah, I don't know why he won't leave. Yeah. Uh-uh. Okay. Well, he definitely, he definitely got beat up. Somebody beat him up. We still to fight with him first. Yeah. I wish that they would. Can you call them? And no, they don't want to talk to us. I don't know where they want to. 
because those are my those are my complainants technically if we want to do anything with this guy but um did you hear him shoot yes, yes. okay um let me walk inside the bar all right I'm a, hey ma'am, I'm gonna come in there here in a second, okay? Okay. <clears throat> I speak or are you are you waiting for Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and stand up for me real quick. I'm gonna just go ahead and detain you real quick, no, 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 okay? No. Am I am I under arrest? Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and detain no, no. you. Am I under arrest? Settle down. Oh, Settle I'm just down. I just told you to turn around and put your hand behind your back. Turn around. Put your hand behind your back. You got that. I'm not, I'm not, or I'm going to kick the out of you. You understand? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not resisting. Put your hand behind your back. I'm not resisting. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, you ain't now. I didn't do anything. I told you to turn around, son. All I did was ask a question. I don't give a f You don't do that. You don't you put your hands up. I didn't put my Relax hands your up. Arm, dude. I don't give a shit. Learn to act right. I did, what am I doing wrong? <clears throat> Look, I got shot by some motorcycle. A, I'm detaining you for my safety. Walk. No, I understand that. I'm detaining you for my safety, and you're preventing me from doing that. You understand? But I haven't done anything to tell you that. <laughs> Get in the car. Am I in the car? Get in the car. Am I in the <clears throat> Am I under arrest? You're detained. Arrest? You're detained. But am I under arrest? <clears throat> Move your feet. Our guy has since filed police brutality charges against the officer or is at least preparing a lawsuit for unnecessary and unjustified use of force. In the interim, he has been charged with aggravated assault for pointing a gun at the woman who was in the car. We're gonna think about lessons. Hey, listen, would you please go over to Active Self Protection Extra? I put a link in the description to my playlist on being a good, sane, sober, moral, and prudent person. Would you please go watch it so that we can spread this information and make sure that we're not making dumb mistakes like these? Let's talk about it in lessons. So you know we're gonna start this one by talking about being drunk at the bar. Remember, you are violating at least three rules of stupid when you are drunk at the bar. Given how late this is, you are violating all four rules of stupid, so don't do that, right? You're going stupid places with stupid people at stupid times doing stupid things. Now right here, this guy's swinging a chain at him if our dude had had a gun on his person and shot this guy for swinging a chain at him and threatening with him, I would have been completely okay with it. Uh, okay, so that is an imminent threat of death or great bodily harm. I mean, that would put you in the hospital, no question. You hit somebody upside the head with a chain like that. So I wouldn't have any problems with this. Again, uh, in the timing. But remember, you got to use the deadly force when the threat is imminent, not when it's long past. That's retribution. That's using deadly force punitively. So my suggestion here, why are you in a fight with these guys to begin with? Get the heck out of there, run back in the bar, call the cops and let them figure out what's going on with this guy. Now we don't get to see what happens off the camera, obviously. And so I don't know all that's going down with this, but these guys do eventually call it enough. They've beat him up pretty good. I get that. But now when he comes back out with a firearm after the threat is over, friends, this is aggravated assault. The threat is past. It is not imminent. And remember of the pillars of self-defense that are moral, legal self-defense, it has to be happening now. You can only act on what is happening now, not what did happen a while ago. That's punitive. We are protectors. We are not punishers. And so we do not use deadly force like this. This is aggravated assault. He can go and do multiple years in state prison for this act. And I get that he's mad about these guys beating him up, but this is not how good, sane, sober, moral, and prudent person use defensive firearms. So we got to do better than this, friends because this puts him as the aggressor is what's going on here. Now he may have been the victim just a minute ago, but now the guy's riding off and so using deadly force punitively like that, not okay. Then the other problem that's a significant one here is there's another woman in there and he points the gun at her. And, and I'm gonna even guess here that he pointed the gun at her maybe without even thinking about trying to do her deadly harm or that she's not a deadly threat, but that he's all amped up. Remember, aggravated assault doesn't necessarily need intent. 
It is placing someone at reasonable fear of death or great bodily harm. And him doing that by being negligent with the use of a firearm in his hand is enough. Now, of course, when the officer shows up, he is pretty chill here. I've put the gun down. I think that was a really good choice. Get the gun out of your hand when the cops show up was really wise. And so the officer is going to give him a, a real brief pat down. Okay, fine. That was kind of a Terry frisk there. And, and now he's going to, you know, secure the gun. Okay, cool. You go sit down over here. And I think his initial discussion with the officer is perfectly fine. He goes and sits down. Okay. But of course, he doesn't think that he's the aggressor here. He thinks he's the victim. And I see this with a lot of people. They think their actions are moral and they're not. And that's going to lead to problems. So now as the officer comes and, and says, okay, dude, I'm going to detain you. Now, listen, I want us to be very clear as private citizens here that when an officer says, I'm going to detain you, the answer is not, am I under arrest and all these other things? And wait a minute, I don't want to do that. And you can't do that because the answer is yes, he can. Okay. When the officer says you are detained, they can absolutely put you in handcuffs during detention if they want to. They do not have to arrest you to put you in handcuffs for their own safety or if they feel that that is warranted. Now, that is a use of force, but it's not an egregious use of force. So again, you know, when somebody says, well, if I'm not under arrest, you can't put me in cuffs. That's dumb. That's going to lead to a physical altercation with police. And that's exactly what happened here because he will use physical force in order to get you into cuffs. Now, look at what he did here. He said, oh, he punched me and knocked me out and all those things. No, the officer pushed him down onto the concrete. Now, he's pretty drunk here, okay? And, and listen, was this maybe a, a more than he the very minimum that the officer could have used? Yeah, but I think it was reasonable, quite frankly. This guy is now going to be arrested for aggravated assault. The officer in the course of his investigation has seen this guy's not an innocent victim. He is actually an aggressor who has committed aggravated assault. So I need you to put your hands behind your back. Guy says, absolutely not. Okay, man, I'm going to push you down to the ground and we're going to make that happen. And we do teach officers on the channel all the time that sometimes a little bit of force early enough will prevent use of significantly more force later on. And so... I don't think this was egregiously bad, quite frankly. I think that his, you know, this guy's lawyer is making kind of a mountain out of a molehill here. And I don't think he's going to be, have a sustained case that this guy used egregious harm. He didn't punch him in the face. He didn't, you know, beat the tar out of him. He didn't thump him up and down. Now, I think that his words were a little bit much, that he was a little bit maybe mean-spirited and used bad language at him. But none of that is a big deal in, in the reality of things. Because this guy, again, put himself in this situation. So let's make sure... We don't argue with officers who are, have chosen to detain us. If we're detained, we're detained. Okay, officer, I'm detained. We'll fight about it in court. Make sure that we're the good person as well so that we don't end up in these kinds of situations. And let's do a better job of covering our ass.